All right. Wait, no. Yeah, this is the right one. Let's get Giggity going. I can't wait to be killed by observers. Uh, uh, oh boy. Well, this should be interesting. I see. All right. Yeah, this really should be interesting. Oh. So I figured. Um, I thought for like a split second about talking about that thing. That okay. I think I was kind of iffy about. Uh, I think I mentioned it every episode. Okay. <laughs> but I had been feeling kind of wacky because of something that had happened at work. And I don't know if I really need to be talking about it. It's not like, um... I don't know. It, it, it's not like <laughs> I'm getting involved in shady business or anything. I mean, my work has always been <laughs> shady, but no, I, I work in the food industry right now. But um, it's it's just the kind of thing that's like stupid, and there's no point in talking about it, you know? Um, how some things end up like that. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting interaction. I was about to be like, oh, I wonder if there was anything in the ceiling. Why would there be anything in the ceiling? That is an interesting interaction. Watch, now this is going to be the entire thing. Uh, I knew it. Well, this could... This has the capacity of being a very short episode. <laughs> um, This is going to suck a lot, though. Watch this. So, it's, it's just the kind of thing where I don't need to talk about it. Is this... I have more paths to take. I think so. Well, that is kind of one of the things about... Okay. Maybe not. I want to try doing this. But, yeah. It was just some stupid garbage that went on. So, I'm not exactly the type to think that, like, men and women can always be the best of friends. Just a matter of course. Because, I mean, it works when you're young because that's not something that you think about in terms of whether or not you can have a functioning relationship with someone. And I do think that being friendly with someone is important to a functioning relationship regarding, like, intimacy. Intimate relationships. But I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't think that... Um... I don't know. I, I don't think there's really... It's fully possible. That's just kind of the whole deal that I was having with this one co-worker of mine. Workplace relationships always work out too, but um, I don't know. It's not like it can't happen, it's just that it's pretty difficult. Or at least from like the men's side, the male point of view, I can imagine why it would be difficult to just be friends with women. But I know of a lot of guys that are just friends with women, so... Or I at least used to be one of those guys that's just friends with women. Um, <laughs> yeah, I used to be scum. How about that? Okay. Shot it. <laughs> that was funny. But, so, I'm... I was friends with this girl I was working with. And, I, have I already talked about how I just basically came out of my last relationship? Um... But I'm friends with this girl, right? I'm really glad for that springboard, but I'm not definitely not going to be able to properly make use of it. And I mean, like, actually friends. Like, I don't really have interest in going out with her because of multiple life reasons. For one, I still really like my ex. Now, we broke up not on poor terms, and that doesn't make it any easier for me to get over. <laughs> but um, it, that's the whole basic situation might be able to jump off that block at the bottom making this more difficult to me hey I'm talking about a story where I make things more difficult than they have to be so whatever but um, that's just kind of our dynamic we have something of a flirty dynamic at work which by all means kind of cancerous but that's just how it is or it's how we were 
Um, but the problem there is that I know that I'm pretty flirty with people in general, like people, like I'll, I'll freaking, I get, I get over familiar with men sometimes and it's a bit wacky. Um, so I have, I have no, like, sexual interest in men, but, you know, it's just the way that I am with friends sometimes. sometimes. That, that's a, uh, not a boundary that exists in my mind so much as not something that I care about so much. I care more about being funny. Oh. Like, um, god. I'm in ROTC and we were doing a, an exercise at some point where we all stand, um, in a line horizontally. And we all have to walk along with our ankles together. Your ankles are basically, supposedly, really tied because that would, we didn't have rope for it. But you have to keep your ankles together with the people next to you. And it basically evolved into a walking can-can line. It's pretty funny, but like at some point the guy next to me like pats me on the shoulder and I, I immediately just like give the... It's like the difference between hugs, you know, where it's like there's the friend hug where it's pats, and then the, like, family hug where it's rubs or whatever. So he gave me pats and I returned it with rubs. <laughs> Just, like, rubbed his shoulder. So, I mean, and you can hear me talking about this. I, I think of it as a funny event more so than anything else. But he's like, why are you caressing my shoulder, bro? Sheesh. <laughs> But yeah, that's it's it's not something I think about in terms of um, interest or not so much as funny or not, you know. And you know, I have just the worst sense of humor, so you can see how well that goes for me in, among normal people. So, anyways, that's kind of how it goes. I'm flirty. I was flirty with this one girl at work because I thought it was more. Not like more funny than anything else, but it was more fun, you know? Flirting is fun, even more so than it actually going anywhere. I have fun doing it. It's me scum, I don't really care. But it's... why did I go that direction? But the problem is is that I, I knew what I was doing, and this girl will live and die on the hill that she's not at all flirty. And... Unfortunately, the way that we interact in public is not beyond the um, observation of other people. So our coworkers kind of got around to like picking on me about, oh, are y'all dating? Shit like that. And I'd always respond, oh no, we're not going out. She's like a nursing student, pal. She has zero time for me. I'm surprised she has work time, you know. But, um... <laughs> That kind of deal, and I was fine with it because I just thought it was funny. I'm like, yeah, I guess that would be cool. We have a fun work dynamic, but I mean, she's got zero time for that, and I'm, she's not really my type either. Not gonna lie. So that was the whole dynamic for like weeks. That was the entire work situation, and for whatever reason, it, she just never caught wind of it until so, like somebody went up and asked her if we were going out. And she freaks out. Absolutely freaks over it. Like this is like 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 girl on the playground yelling you gross levels freaking out. And she, like one of my coworkers walks past, he's like, Oh, this is the first I heard of it. I thought y'all were actually going out. And she this the the girl I had a fun work dynamic with is like screaming at this other girl. No, I'm not. No, we're not going out. And then she has the gall to come up to me and ask if I've been spreading rumors that we're... <laughs> I'm like, okay, pal. <laughs> Don't worry, man. No one will ever think we're going out here on out. I want nothing to do with you, you know? <laughs> um, But God, it was just such a... It's such a weird interaction because I haven't had to deal with like that while I've been in college yet. I guess I don't need to expect much, but it's just so wacky. <sighs> I feel like that was quicker than normal. 
Let's see if the game crashes. But yeah. Uh hey game crash! Yeah. Music's still going though, so I don't know what's going on. Haha, <laughs> the saving logo is Twin Peaks. Lol, that means boobies. But yeah. So this girl freaks out, I'm like, okay, no thank you then. Because I honestly had some amount of interest in her, but, I mean, I'm not going to pursue something that's not going to work out anyways, and I was pretty damn sure it was not going to work out. It wasn't going anywhere, you know. <laughs> the game crashed, but it's not, it's not committed to crash. There we go! There we go! That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> but, yeah, that's basically the whole deal. I was iffy for a couple of days because I'm like, God, I really don't meet competent people in college. I guess I should have expected this, you know. And it was funny because I, I I went to a pretty good high school and, and my siblings, they're all older than me. They would tell me like, college is basically the same as high school in terms of where you line up next to other people. I haven't been having that experience, <laughs> unfortunately. But I guess I haven't really met the people because a lot of the it probably is just something like a lot of the people that were around my level in high school are now further along by hours in college because they did more of the things that makes them not have to do classes I did some of those things but I mean I'm kinda glad I didn't do all of them now because I have to keep hours commitments for multiple things so yeah there's my fun story of uh relationships gone sour at work yeah I'll never have fun at work again remember kiddos never have fun at work it always goes poorly <laughs> anyways that'll be all for now on the next episode of Celeste um what reflection I guess till next time like comment and subscribe or I'll um scream at you in public goodbye Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.